dog. This 2020, 20, all of this shit leading up to this year, of course, it was, if I think about it, if we do math, I'm sure there's some math that equated to all this bullshit happening this year. There was some kind of formula out there mm-hmm. that you just plug in you variables. You think the, like, the fucking Mayan calendar yeah. points to all of it? It points to this. <laughs> because it just makes sense. The air was just right for it. It really was, though. Like, it just felt right. Like, like I, anything that mixes in the pot keeps it going. It's like a perfect reaction. Like, like everything right now is just a perfect catalyst. I, can't, I remember going out of the house. I'm like, man, everybody's, like, acting like everything's okay. You know what? We haven't had, like, a bad thing happen to the world in a minute. I thought it was going to be zombies. But, you know, more realistic things happened. I don't know, man. I mean, that's still potential. What if the vaccines are messed up when they come out? I'm shooting shit. <laughs> and then boom, zombies. Hmm. This is my my opinion on zombies. I honestly feel a small outbreak wouldn't be too bad. But, like, I'm not cool with a this big guy. one. You get what I'm saying, Doc? Like, like a, not a small town... But, you know, something fun enough to survive. <laughs> the right amount of difficulty. <laughs> yeah. Right, right amount. You know what I'm saying? The perfect amount of difficulty. I would like to stock up on more guns where something like that happens. Oh, for sure. I also want so to warn you. So, all the, like, zombie books I've ever read and stuff like that, the the best one I ever read um, that explained, like, High the school first DFD. zombie attacks the best was the old, like, Resident again. Evil 1 book. I read it when I was like a little kid and I remember they explained it as like people would go downtown and they would see a zombie and they'd think it's a drunk and they would try to like help them into a car or a taxi and then boom bite and then that person would turn into a zombie and then like it kind of spread that way like everyone just thought those zombies were drunk like homeless people or something Jeez. and that does make sense like I can imagine some spreads like that but I think people are so aware this of zombies, in New York. especially in the U.S., that, like, I think we'd kill them all before they get to be, like, crazy, crazy. Just probably like, that up thing would have to fly under tongue. cover for a while. Yeah, facts. Like, it would have to be, like, a latent gene or something, like, that yeah. trig- like spread already what if and then the, triggered. Uh, COVID vaccine coming out. Like, if, Co- if COVID <laughs> mutates into that, then yeah, it would make total sense. Because COVID runs super under the radar. No cap. Actually, I might get that shit. Because, bro, if it's going to be, like, if I see, like, 30, 50 million Americans got the COVID vaccine, I'm like, all right, bro, I don't think I want to survive 50 million zombie type shit. So I'm just going <laughs> to be a zombie. For really? I don't know, man. I don't know about that one. Yeah, this I'll turn. E- e- I wouldn't want to fight that many zombies. That's what but, I'm saying. But I want to be What's my part quality of, that? of life? I don't know, man. I hope everyone out here can reduce the numbers. Second I run out of weed, I'm out this bitch, Gene. I'd be dead ass honest with you, bro. Because, like, bro, what are we doing here? Nothing is going to sustain Finding itself. Finding some land, so building some walls, setting up a perimeter. Start life over again? Yeah, I already, got, I already got a plan. My mind how this is going to work. Okay, in your we mind. just can't is be this, in is Georgia. Your, is your mind... Uh, is your mind built for society? Or is your mind built for self-preservation? As in small community, you, your family, your friends, small. I would, I guess, say community, but you can add, grow that. See, this is my thing. I want to live in a community. Like I, I need there to be a on zombie level survival rate. You get what I'm saying? No, because I need a million people to there. survive. Like I need a million people to build a society. Like a s- actual city, yeah, and so then I'd be that, down to build towards that. That's gonna take a while, so the, that's I'm why like, the get goes like, gotta be in the smaller saying, communities. Bro, it's gonna take out, a while. Bro. I'm not trying to be the first generation. Like for example, <laughs> I'm not trying to. Be- <laughs> like for example, I was just gonna sound so crazy. I'm not trying to fight for independence if I'm George Washington's friend or anything like that, bro. Like, bro, we not really finna enjoy that shit, bro. Like, we finna be 60, 70 years old. And the country just started. I don't want to be the first generation in none of that bullshit, bro. I'm so happy to be born where we were born. Like, shit's been figured out for us, bro. We got it good. Like, Like, all our problems now are social shit. Like, we got to figure out how to, we got to figure out what to do now that we ain't got no big problems like that. How to talk to each other, how to interact. 
Niggas got so bored we invented racism. Like, come on now, bro. Like, we got it good. Yeah, that's something I've been thinking about, man. That like we got to a point where we were we were too good and people no, were I starting we to create it, problems. Um and it just kinda depends, like like some problems are still around, you know what I mean? So you kinda have to like in your own mind be like, All right, that I don't think that's much of a problem. But that definitely is. You know what I, you know what I mean? You gotta discriminate a little bit between what's happening in the world. Otherwise no, it's just like it's just boredom, man. And and that's something uh I read in a book that like a lot of Americans, um, because we're so good at capitalism that, like, even the poorest of Americans, um, on the on average, you know, because there's still people that are extremely, extremely poor, um, have it better than people who are poor in other countries. And it gets to a point to where, like, if you make twenty grand in the U.S., like, you have probably a life of somebody who makes like fifty or sixty grand in a second or third world country. And because of that, a lot of people start looking for meaning in their lives. And then they start creating problems off of meaning and stuff like that. And that's when you get people who are like, well, I know the iPhone's a thousand dollars and I'm going to pay it because I've already paid it every time to get one. But this one was made by Gucci. So it's got more value and X or this particular iPhone, um, very simple way donated to AIDS. So it's even more valuable and stuff like that. Like people start kind of looking at it with that kind of mentality where there's like a lot of, um, I guess the only way to put it bluntly is just, there's a lot of virtue behind like their motives now because the actual survival stuff is already set in stone. To Doc's point with Jordans, the ones that are the most sought after, I guess respected are the ones he wore. Unless you wore in games. That would make sense to me. Yeah, so it's like, those it's things. meaning. Like, yeah. Yo, so thanks for watching a clip of FDT. If you like what you heard, be sure to subscribe, like the clip, leave a comment, and check out our page for more content. Tune in to full episodes of FDT, released every Friday on Podbean, iTunes, and Spotify. Peace.